Welcome to Trump Breaking News Network. Your daily source for up-to-date news on the political scene of Donald Trump, his presidency, American politics and conspiracies. Please subscribe to receive notice of our daily updates, also share with your friends and your social media. We encourage you to like our videos and give your comments. This is TBNN. Jeff Flake calls Trump rallies spasms of a dying party, then James Wood set him straight. After Senator Jeff Flake, Republican Arizona, made disparaging remarks about President Donald Trump's supporters and the state of the Republican Party, actor and conservative commentator James Woods took to social media to correct the record. Flake, who announced earlier this year that he would not be seeking re-election, spoke on ABC's This Week about the type of people who attend Trump campaign rallies suggesting that the GOP must attract other demographics besides older white men or else face demise. When you look at some of the audiences cheering for Republicans, sometimes, you look out there and you say, those are the spasms of a dying party, the outgoing senator said, according to The Hill. When you look at the lack of diversity, sometimes, and it depends on where you are, obviously, but by and large, we're appealing to older white men and there are just a limited number of them, and anger and resentment are not a governing philosophy. James Woods, who has amassed a large online following for his right-wing punditry, issued a response to Fleek on Twitter. When you look at the lack of diversity, sometimes, and it depends on where you are, obviously, but by and large, we're appealing to older white men and there are just a limited number of them and anger and resentment are not a governing philosophy. James Woods, who has amassed a large online following for his right-wing punditry, issued a response to Flake on Twitter. Woods' statement does poke a large hole in Flake's argument. Currently, the Republican Party is enjoying its most powerful standing in modern history, controlling both chambers of Congress, the White House, the majority of gubernatorial seats and the majority of state legislatures. The GOP's political dominance has resulted in what many regard as conservative control of the judicial branch, with a conservative-leaning Supreme Court and President Trump making judicial appointments at an unprecedented level. The 2016 election proved wrong Obama-era predictions that a combination of demographic changes in the country, including a decline of whites and evangelicals, and a blossoming minority population would result in an everlasting Democrat lock on the White House. Contrary to almost every mainstream forecast, Republican Donald Trump won the presidency over Hillary Clinton, the Democrat nominee, while Republicans were able to maintain control of the House and Senate and even made gains in down-ballot offices. The election outcome proved wrong the theory that white Americans are quickly losing sway in electoral politics. Related. Bill Kristol accuses Trump of trying to shut down Mueller investigation. Has zero proof. However, since announcing his intention earlier this year to retire from the Senate, Flake has become one of Trump's biggest adversaries from within the Republican Party, frequently sparring with the president publicly. The Arizona senator has gone on to criticize the president and the GOP over a number of issues. More recently, Flake took a hard stance against Roy Moore the controversial Republican candidate for Alabama's special Senate election. The Arizona senator not only withheld support for Moore, he openly supported his Democrat opponent, Doug Jones, by writing his campaign a $100 donation. Flake was to run for re-election in 2018, but with polling numbers that showed him deeply unpopular with Arizona Republican voters, he announced in October he would instead retire at the end of his term. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.